Welcome back to Cooking for Millennials, the show where we teach you how to cook delicious and nutritious meals. Today, we have, we're going to try to do a little barbecue thing here with this London broil steak. This is a flank steak, and we got it at our discount meat store, of course. So let's open this up. There we go. Get rid of this paper. All right, so we got our little steak here. And we're going to start by doing a couple of crosshatch cuts on it every half inch or so. And we're going to go about a quarter of an inch deep. This will help to keep it uh, or help to cook it a little bit more thoroughly in the middle sections. And we're just going to do the same to the back. We've got our marinade over here. And it's, we got a quarter teaspoon soy sauce, teaspoon of balsamic, tablespoon of ketchup, one and a half uh, garlic cloves minced. Uh, we got, we also have a half teaspoon rosemary, half teaspoon thyme, or thyme, and we got a quarter teaspoon uh, sage. And later on, we also have uh, three quarters uh, tablespoons or teaspoons of uh, black pepper and uh, half of uh, paprika um, but those will go on after our marinade so I've got our marinade here and our paprika and pepper there which will be after the two hours um, that this will be uh, marinating for and we're gonna marinate this at room temperature uh, for two hours um, put in a bag keep it work it around there um, and then after the two hours, we're going to pat this down dry and then apply our pepper and paprika. We're just going to coat both sides before we get in there. And this is about, yeah, you can, it's, maybe you might be pushing half a pound there um, for our steak or flank steak size. So tune in in a bit. All right, so. Our two hours are up. We're just going to give a light pat down with our towel. Get some of that excessive moisture off of there. We're going to coat it with our paprika and our ground black pepper. A little bit on each side. Get right in there. And on the other side. Next, we're taking this to the queue, or the fire ant little tiny twig stove. So let's come on out to the queue. We got a little bit of rain here, a little bit of snow. It's not quite sure what it wants to do, but we're gonna cook anyways. Sometimes you just can't pick the weather. So let's try some drier paper. And light this again this time it's actually lighting look at that a little bit of dry material makes all the difference a little bit damper today and all this wood's pretty damp there we go a couple puffs it's taken right off in there we're set now And we're just gonna let this kind of cook, build some heat. We got a small little supply of sticks down here if we need any more. There we look at that. Let's get this. Look at that. <laughs> Roaring right to life. Let's throw our big piece on and get some of these larger pieces here drying out. So we kind of got our five inch 
uh, more so traditional style cast iron. We're going to set that on there. And we're going to heat this up. And we got a little bit of oil in our pan. We want to get this good and hot for our London broil. It's time to put on our steaks. We got our steak here, our London broil. Just gonna set that right down in there. Oh yeah, look at that. And since it is a little bit cooler out, I'm actually even just going to put this little lid on it, which will be our pancake cast iron pan. <laughs> Conserve a little bit more heat in there. Alright, so that's at least a minute in there. We're generally supposed to turn this thing about every minute. It's looking good. It smells good too. Just get an idea of her. Flames down there. Look at that. Looking good in there still. Overall cook time is about five to nine minutes. We'll probably cook it maybe a touch more just because usually we don't like the medium rare. If we can get to like a medium, that, that, that's pretty good. It's also our first time cooking uh, any kind of meat product or steak on this little fire ant stove. Um, been very curious to try that because a lot of the wood stoves you see on YouTube and that, they usually just cook, uh, or they just boil water or stews or soups type meals. Um, it's generally hard to simmer uh, with these wood stoves um, and this is also high temperature steak so maybe it's well suited to wood stoves. So the side is done. I don't know if you can see that in there but it is it is hot in there. Look at that. Mm-mm. Right, and here we go. We're just gonna test to see how, how it is for doneness. Uh, we have medium rare, medium and well with this little thermometer. So let's just stick that in there. Let's see what we got. There we are, we are medium rare. And just gonna let that cook for a couple more minutes. All right, that's looking pretty good. And I think we're ready to plate. Collect our extra seasoning here. side. All right, we'll let that burn off and we will go inside. Our steak, London broil, has been resting for about 10 minutes, so now it's time to cut into it. Oh, that's looking good. Look at that. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Try that one tonight. It's good. Good spices. It's probably one of the better things we've cooked on the show. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and check out my other videos.